Hey, what's up, YouTube? Enforcer here, and as requested, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a few different resolutions for the CSGO benchmarks. I also decided to go ahead and show all my logical processors. So there's 16 processors that shows because it is 8 cores and hyper-threading is enabled. So we're going to go ahead and do our standard 1440p, and then we're going to drop down to... 1080p and then we will also do a 720 and maybe uh, another lower one just to even everything out in addition to adding the uh, threads we're also going to go ahead and run the actual benchmarks from afterburner so this should help us out on you know getting you know more accurate information all right, so we're going to go ahead and start our benchmark as soon as we uh, get in here. And we're going at 1440p. Everything is maxed out. All right, so the benchmark is started. And I'll go ahead and probably blow them numbers up so you can see exactly what we're getting. That minimum of 104 is kind of alarming. So the problem that we had before, uh, which I want to try to solve by changing some settings, is once we got into the smoke, the frames per second dropped just massively, which you really can't have that, you know, in any type of match. Because if you're in a match, you you know you drop you drop that far down, you know you're just you're not no longer having a competitive edge. See, there we go. Now we just drop down to 67 as our minimum. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy to go down all the way to 67 from you know an average of 253. So when we go into 1080p, hopefully we can stay, you know, say above 144. You know, and that's why, I, you know, a game like this, you know, 4K is just, just not going to cut it. Because right now we're at 1440p and we go at 4, uh, 4K resolution, it's just not going to make any sense, especially for a game like, you know, Counter-Strike Go. Alright, so... That is our conclusion for the 1440p, and now let's go ahead and change these settings down to 1080p. Alright, so right now everything is, is maxed out, and I do have multi-core rendering enabled. Alright, so here we go, we got everything at 1080p now, and we're going to go ahead and see what kind of difference we get, you know, dropping down to 1080p versus the 1440. Alright, so we got our benchmark started. We're already starting out uh, a bit better. And we're still sitting at the same average of, see, 350. 303 is our minimum. And I'm not sure where I got that 101, I think it was, before. So that could have been just a fluke. But here we go, now we're starting to drop down for our minimals. And hopefully when we see some of these explosions and smoke, we won't drop down too far. So right there, we really didn't drop down too much at all. Here comes the smoke. And we dropped down to 113. So that's not too bad. It's still not over 144 that we would want to see um, in a game like this. But you got to remember, it is, it is also remaining smooth with a, mo a decent monitor. Uh, if you have, if you have uh, FreeSync or you have G-Sync enabled, uh, you're not going to notice any type of you know, weird tearing or anything like that. So that is pretty good so far. You know, you know, kind of staying over the the 144 is our, our main goal. So we did drop under that, but uh, 
most people play you know 1080p so that's not too bad so as requested we're gonna go ahead and change our video settings down to 720p i don't know if we're gonna go any lower than that because that's uh that's kind of the bare minimal that i, I would <laughs> ever suggest going to so we're gonna go apply that all right so here we are at 720p and it looks awful <laughs> um you know we're not going for really quality uh i really would suggest if you are trying to boost your frames per second you definitely want to take down graphics instead of bringing down your resolution the resolution is just uh it, it doesn't give you as much real estate to be able to uh you know kind of move around and see your opponents even though you know you can have the the field of view changed you really don't want to uh do it that way all right so let's go ahead and start our next benchmark let's go. all right so right away we're starting out at 309 frames per second not really uh jumped up that much definitely isn't giving us much extra performance going at 720 versus 1080p uh, a little bit better than our 1440p but I really think we can get down to the you know the nitty-gritty to what we need by just taking down some of the graphic settings well, if you're playing competitively you definitely want to you know bring down the action you know just the graphics and not really your screen real estate Remember, this is with a 1080 Ti, and if you're using a 1080 Ti on, you know, on CS:GO, but you only have, you know, say a $60 monitor, you know, you're you're, you're really not going to get that competitive edge because the monitor is going to be your real bottleneck. See, we we only went down to 171. So at seven, I mean, at 720p, we definitely stay over the amount that we were wanting. You know the 144 uh, actually with this monitor we did stay over 165 so we re kept 165 frames per second all right so here we're back at 1440p and what I'm actually going to suggest instead of lowering down your resolution I mean if you're using a monitor that's 1080p that's gonna be great and you're definitely gonna be able to go over the uh, you know, around that 144, you get close to it, as you see, on max quality with the 1080 Ti and the uh, 2700X. Uh, the Intel, uh, I'm pretty sure you will get a few more frames out of it, but I believe our, our, be our better best idea here will be to take off our anti-aliasing. We can bring this down, I'm going to say, maybe a 2x. Alright, so we brought it down to about uh, 2x. We kept, we kept everything else. We have our most of our details still all the way up. Uh, disabled the anti-aliasing. Uh, your filtering is definitely uh, another factor. And we're just going to bring that down to, say, uh, 2x as well. Alright, so most... Uh, most of your performance issues is going to come from the anti-aliasing. Like right now, I mean, it, it feels great because there's nothing here. But if you bring down the anti-aliasing in your gameplay, it's not going to affect too much of the actual quality uh, of what you're seeing. You know, you're just going to get a little more jagged ed edges, you know, than normal. And CSGO, you know, you don't really need a lot of anti-aliasing I can probably bring it down to zero but we're gonna go ahead and try this in 1440p and 1080p uh, we already achieved 144 uh, frames per second on uh, actually 165 frames per second with the uh, 720 so we're not gonna do it on that one all right so actually I had a few problems here with the uh, recording hard drive that I was using uh, seemed to have ran out of space because I was not paying attention to that one and it could have affected the uh, the score on the last one which we got down to a 77 um, so 
I'm actually going to take a quick look at my settings here. Uh, I was at 1440p. I'm going to run one more test here with everything at medium. And we're going to bring everything down to half. Uh, half. <laughs> And we'll keep the anti-aliasing on. So we're going to see how this works here. And hopefully that is, uh, we get a little better uh, frames than we did before. And that the problem was more just the, the hard drive running out. Alright, so we're starting at 127. Uh, I kind of hit it a little bit early. Looks like we're keeping an average of 370. Which is good. That means I'm getting my full uh, 165 frames per second right now. I gotta tell you, if you haven't uh, tried a high, a high refresh rate monitor, it's definitely uh, recommended uh, getting over that at least 120 uh, frames per second. 144 is definitely your, your cream zone. Best part. Oh, let's see. 127. And, you know, we're here. Yep, I'll say. So we really didn't uh, lose that much. Let's see. So we got 79 frames per second. Uh, that's, that's about consistent with uh, how it was when the drive went out. And that's why I wanted to run this test one more time. Uh, just to make sure that it wasn't the the frames per second dropping because of the hard drive and there we go down to 76 so it's still very very playable but dropping down that much is you know you, you really don't want that uh, I'm going to recommend you know definitely you know trying like uh, 1080p and you know things lower uh, maybe bring your graphics down there and we're gonna run one more test that's going to run uh, these same settings, but at 1080p. Because this is at 1440p currently. All right, so here we go. We're at 1080p, and we have everything set at 14. Or sorry, uh, we're at 1080p, and we have everything set at medium. And we're gonna see what kind of frames we actually get. Alright, so we're going to start a base at uh, 340 frames per second. Uh, looks like we're jumping up pretty high, up to 415. And we really want to try to stay up over, you know, the 144. The uh, the monitors that are 240 hertz, you know, I, I don't see too many situations where you can actually get over 240 frames per second. So, uh, as, as enticing as a lot of them are... Unless you're, you know, bringing your, your graphics way, way, way down. Uh, hitting that 240 frames per second, there's not really any graphics cards that's going to be able to do that. Let's see here. 133. So that's not bad. Uh, on the 2700X, getting 133. We have everything at medium. Uh, if we brought everything down to low, I think I'll do one more run as low. This, uh, this video is getting pretty long. But uh, I definitely want to get all this information out there. Let's see. We have... Yeah. Our, our looks like our minimum is 133 at 10, uh, 1080p. And we definitely get you know really close to 144. And like I said, if you have the G-Sync or FreeSync enabled... Uh, you're not going to notice any type of overlapping in the imagery or anything like that. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting everything at low. This is the last test I'm going to do because this video is getting way too long. Uh, we're going to stay at 1080p, which is, you know, pretty universal for most people. Uh, we're going to keep us at our shadows at very low. We're going to have everything low as we can go. Uh, we're going to keep our multi-core rendering on, we're turning off anti-aliasing completely. Um, then we're going to have our filtering at linear, and we're going to uh, take our anti-aliasing off completely as well. And obviously no V-Sync, because we already have G-Sync enabled on our monitor. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm pretty certain we're going to get over our 144 
with this. I mean, right now it looks fine. I mean, there's a little jagged edges. You know, when I get close to it, I can definitely tell that there's jagged edges. But that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about getting more frames for more frags. So let's see what we get. All right, so we got a base of uh, 357. You know, the, the only thing I don't like, like I said before, is when you have your anti-aliasing down, there's a lot of little jagged, ed you know, jagged edges that you see more in a distance that you might mistake for, you know, an opponent. And it, it, it distracts me. Some people it doesn't, like the... The wires and stuff like that looks like there's like little dots that's going back and forth. That's why I do like having the anti-aliasing up quite a bit. Alright, so we're coming around here at 203. That's actually pretty good compared to our last one. And I'm hoping we get over 144. Oh, 141. Okay, now now we're just picking at hairs. <laughs> I, I think uh, 141 is pretty good. Uh... Because you are definitely up there, you know, in the top, in the top, you know, 95%. But, you know, right here, we're okay. We go, we go down to 137, which we're still, you know, picking at hairs here. 137 frames per second. You're going to have the competitive edge around that. Uh, if you get more than that, you're, you're definitely sacrificing a lot more quality of the game. Uh, I, I, I still say having the anti-aliasing up a little bit is going to be less distracting when you're playing and keep in mind this is only if you like you're really going to like a, a land party competitive and you are you know playing for money you professionally uh other than that you know you, you get over i'd say 80 90 frames per second you should be all right anyway that's all i'm gonna do for this video it is way way too long <laughs> Uh, hopefully this was informational for you. Uh, maybe you're thinking about getting the 2700X or the 1080 Ti. Um, you know, both of these uh, should help you out a little bit. Uh, or I should say both of these videos, my last video and this video, uh, should help you out a bit on, you know, deciding which way you actually want to go. So... I want to say, say thank you, everybody, for the last video, all of your comments. I want to also thank you for your subscriptions out there. Uh, be sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button so you can see more content from me. I'll try to make sure I keep on putting up more videos that are giving us some uh, benchmarks. I do plan on uh, ch testing my t not, uh, 760 uh, GTX on this as well with the same CPU to see... If we're a little consistent with uh, some of the frames per second, see if it, how, how badly, how much the uh, CPU is actually going to help us out uh, when we're playing CSGO and you're running a low-end card like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day and happy gaming.